Hey guys, it's Matt Chu from Upright Health. In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple exercise to help you correct forward head posture and that slump that comes from using a smartphone all day or staring at a computer screen all day. If you do this exercise regularly, you will start to notice results generally within one to two weeks as the muscles that help you control your posture improve and strengthen. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to do this exercise, how often to do this exercise, and why you're gonna need to keep doing this exercise to make sure your posture keeps looking good. To do this exercise, all you need is a blank piece of wall like this beautiful piece of wall right here, or you could even use a doorway if you've got way too much artwork on your fancy walls. Now to do this, you just need to put your back right up against the wall, and you're going to just start sinking yourself down the wall so that your hips are going into what's called flexion, so you're closing the angle between your thighs and your torso. You do not have to go all the way down into a 90 degree bend, so you're doing like an air bench. You don't have to do that. You just need to get down low enough where you can feel that you have the ability to put your low back flat into the wall. So you're trying to make sure that you cannot slide your hand under here. You're just trying to keep it pressed right up into the wall. Then what you're gonna do is make sure that you feel the mid back section also flat against the wall. You're gonna keep your chin tucked and then pull the back of your head into the wall. So you're just gonna hang out just like this. Now there's a couple ways this will go wrong. If you have a really, really hunched back, you're gonna try to do this. You're gonna see that there's this gap between your upper back and you're gonna be hitting more towards the top of your head rather than the back of your head right here. So you wanna make sure you keep the chin tucked and your eyes level on the horizon and then pull the back of your head into the wall. For some people, this may take a while to get used to. You may find that you're just like this and you really can't get back. That's fine, you wanna focus on gradually, gradually over weeks and months, gradually getting that head back. What you don't wanna do is really struggle at it and try to like shrug your shoulders and like compensate in all kinds of funny ways because that is not gonna help you. If what you do is like tilt your head back like this, you've actually just made your posture the same as when you're in front of the computer. So again, low back flat, mid back nice and flat against the wall, upper back flat against the wall, and then you're gonna pull the back of your head back towards the wall. As far as the leg position goes, you wanna make sure you keep your knees just slightly bent. If you lock your knees, you're gonna stress out your knees. If you go into a deeper knee bend like this, it's actually gonna turn into a pretty distracting quad burn. So uh, it's okay if you wanna do that, but if you're focusing on improving your posture, you probably wanna keep the knees just slightly bent so you don't have to worry about, whew, my quads are burning. Now, uh, there is another variation of this exercise that you could do. Um, that we've shown in a previous video where you're just kind of sitting against uh, the wall like this on the floor with the knees bent or the knees uh, straight like that. This is an okay variation too. You can do it this way, but it's also quite awkward to do at the office or at school or whatever. So uh, this is often just a nice little easy way to do it at, uh, in a hallway. You just find a little spot, hang out. You could even, if you really wanted to, be using your phone while in this position, but you know, Take a breath, man, take a break, put the phone down. You wanna hold this position for two and a half to three and a half minutes. That gives you enough time to feel the muscles alongside your spine fatiguing and working to maintain this position. Most of you have probably never felt that before, so it might feel a little bit weird, a little bit scary. It may feel like those muscles even wanna cramp. If it feels intolerable, of course, get out of the position, but I promise you over time, as those muscles get used to working, you won't really feel that crazy burn fatigue or cramping anymore. It usually takes a few days to maybe a couple weeks to clear up. And so what you should notice is after you've done this, oftentimes the first time when you come off the wall, you'll just notice that this whole section of your body is better able to get into the upright position. If you don't notice it the first time, I'd suggest continuing to do it at least a couple times a day and then keep checking in to see what's going on with your uh, thoracic spine posture. 
It's a very simple exercise that forces the thoracic spine to extend and those muscles are definitely gonna kick in over time. How often do you need to do this exercise? Well, that's really gonna depend on your life and how often you're in a slump. And it also depends on how strong those muscles are back there and how connected you're able to get to those muscles. So you're gonna have to play with it, but in general, I would suggest people who are concerned about having hunchback posture, do this exercise at least twice a day. And if you've been spending like eight, nine hours in front of a computer, your posture is definitely gonna suffer. So you wanna make sure you're you know, interrupting this slouching position with some better extended positions on a regular basis. So that might mean interrupting your work day to spend two or three minutes just pulling yourself back into a position like this. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully that exercise helps your posture look smarter than your phone. If you are looking for more information on fixing your posture and improving your posture, be sure to check out the description section for some helpful links. If you like the video, click like and subscribe to our channel. And if you hate commercials and really love our channel, consider making a pledge for one, five, or $10 a month on Patreon at patreon.com slash upright health. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.